Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this session, I am going to explain about uh, asset scrapping, asset scrapping or asset retirement. Uh, both are same, uh, similar to the similar posting in SAP. So uh, generally, uh, to remove the asset partially or completely from the uh, from the asset module side in SAP system, we need to perform this activity. Uh, we call it as asset retirement or asset scrapping. To perform this. Uh, transaction uh, this posting we have to use a transaction code as a b a v a n uh, in the sap system so here uh, i will i will be showing the step by step process for this posting now so let's get started now in the command field i'm entering the transaction code as uh, a b a v n and this is my asset five double zero double zero two and then we need to click on accounting we need to select the accounting principle here and then depreciation area and then document date so i'm taking the document date as the same posting date and the value date also and the text we need to i mentioned the some some text okay i mentioned asset scrapping 2023 and then hit enter and then go to additional tab here and here we need to mention the posting period in which posting period we are currently posting uh, in my case the current posting period is 11 and the document type would be AA always and if you are going to retire the asset partially then you need to enter the amount if you are going and and then uh, the reference uh, means uh, whether this asset is uh, acquired in the current year acquisition or prior year acquisition and then if we are going to uh, retire fully then no need of uh, any amount we need to enter then system will automatically take the netbook value based on that asset so i will be opening the asset explorer for the same asset in uh, aw01n so the same asset 500402 and here we can see the asset equation value is 2 lakhs and the ordinary depreciation is uh, 20,000 and unplanned depreciation has we have posted 10,000. So now system will um, system will credit to this asset GL account as a uh, 2 lakhs and then these two would be depreciation account to be debit and then the remaining amount will be uh, posted to the uh, the expense GL account scrapping GL account. Now. I will be going here then after entering the, all the transaction all the details just click on simulate here so here we can see we have few errors uh, just to view these errors just click on uh, error tab here okay commitment item okay so in my case uh, fm of fund management is activated and in somehow uh, this uh, derivation rule is not working so i will enter the commitment item manually here Click on check now we don't have any uh, errors now and then click on post here now here we can see the transaction has been posted uh, with the document type uh, document uh, all one item zeros and double six in accounting principal LAGP local gap now I will show you this document LB03 here and the document number is 66 so here we can see uh, just a second let me change the layout
so here we can see the GL account name here so the asset has been debited with the uh, created with the uh, two lakhs and the depreciation account what are the depreciation we have planned no normally posted uh, system not only planned system only take the posted only posted uh, posted uh, depreciation only system is considered so here 18334 has been posted and then unplanned depreciation we have posted the unplanned depreciation as 10000 and then the, the remaining amount uh, 171000 change has been posting to the uh, debit to the uh, expense gl account so this is the entry uh, which has been generated while uh, doing the transaction now i will also show you the asset explorer now i will go one step back here and then again i will come back here now we can see the asset explorer here in the so now asset equation value is showing as zero nothing is there and then and netbook value also is showing as zero nothing and in the posted values oh, not here so here we can see asset retirement has been posted successfully this one So now this is the only planned one. If you want to post these values, uh, we need to execute the depreciation run. Then only it will be uh, it will show those values here. Okay, that's all in this section. Thank you so much.